What's up Seth? My name is Andrew Bodine. I'm a 14 year old from Northern Indiana and today I'm going to be showing you my bikes and stuff and what I've been doing with them and all kinds of stuff. So right here, this is my first mountain bike that I ever had. It has no upgrades because it's a 24 inch kids mountain bike. It's just a beginner. As you can see by these shifters, they're all scratched up because I've done everything with this. And this has two spots for pedals. I changed the pedals on these to some uh, really cheap ones that came with my custom built bike that my brother got me. I'll show you that in a little bit, it's pretty old. And I replaced these cheap plastic pedals with it. These shocks are 40 millimeter, they're pretty low end, but at the same time this is a 24 inch bike and you can't get very much for it anyway. I put this little bike tube in here just for this chain guard and as you can see I didn't do it very well because that can still reach. You can tell it's pretty cheap because it's only got two bolts right there and a pinch bolt for the seat. Now we're going into there and here's the bike my brother built me. This is now my favorite bike. It's the most real mountain bike I've ever rode or ridden. Yeah I gotta fix that squeak there. Well, it's it's not stock at all. It's got some MZ3 uh, forks. I've adjusted them to my weight, so it they feel real good. Some brand new Continental Mountain keys. So when he bought these, these were about 60 bucks for both. But they sent him the wrong ones, my brother, and they sent him the really good ones that are 60 bucks each. So these are the really nice ones. You can tell because it's got that effect on it. So that's a cool thing. Amazon screwed up for a good reason. Uh, this is the first bike I've ever rolled or ridden or had with disc brakes. These are the first ones. Of course, they're only one piston, but I am completely fine with that because it stops on the dime. But this has got about 100 millimeters of travel. Uh, it's got a new WTB Volt, just a comp seat, not anything too special. Rear disc brakes as well. This has three in the front, which I am wanting to change to a one by, just because that will be better. Because I don't like doing with this. This is actually what I'm currently working on on the bike in later. It really bothers me. And it's got lots of SRAM parts. Almost all of it is SRAM. At least the entire drive ram, drive train is. It's got X7 shifters. It's got specialized grips, it's just, I think, came with this. And a haze brakes. And ditch witch rims, which I've actually not had any bike with any type of special rim. Most of my bikes I've left stock because this one's just not been worth upgrading. That one, 24 inch, that's not worth upgrading. This thing just has a bunch of firsts for me, such as like adjustable pedals. I bought these pedals myself for about $40, race face chesters. They're really good, they grab on my foot. In fact, I got these really cheap shoes. These are just some really cheap Walmart shoes that I use for home use. And it got a bunch of holes in it, so I lowered it down about half, and it's still really like that. So these grab on my feet really well. It's really solid, so that's a good thing. But I haven't done anything to this yet because I only got it a few months ago. It's also got a specialized frame. I've not memorized everything about this yet because I'm still learning about it, and I haven't done a whole lot of research about it. I know it's a specialized aluminum frame. That's pretty obvious that most of the parts on this, like the front fork and the frame and all, basically everything on this is a 2006. So this is a 2006 bike. It was my brother's first mountain bike as well. He worked in Washington DC and he bought this there. And he rode it until he got this new one, which now has like RockShox forks. Which I am planning to upgrade these to RockShox in the future. Just because 
if they're getting really old and they're starting to get a tiny bit of play. But, yeah. This is really good. But it's not nearly as good as what he has right now. Because that's brand new. And it's not nearly as good, like way far away from the bike you have that you put on here. And also, I've never even ridden a full suspension. I've only ridden cheap Walmart full suspensions. So, if I get that, that's going to be a whole new experience. And also, my career is going to be in engineering and stuff. So, this that could actually help me out a lot. All these crappy Walmart bikes. I've been working on bikes for almost my whole life now. I My parents didn't teach me how to ride a bike because I didn't let them. For some reason, I wanted to do it for myself. And I've been working on bikes ever since. I even took the training wheels off of myself because I wanted to figure it out myself when I was like five years old or less. And I bought all these frames and those wheels and everything that you see here. But $10 for all this, that's pretty good. This is the best frame here because chain's not that rusted out. Of course the rims are. But all these bikes have been sitting outside for a long time. Like, these are really crappy bikes. There's a bunch of logs that I cut off of a chainsaw from that over there. And I'm creating a lot of berms. Now, when I cut it, I only wanted the big pieces, so I just got really large ones. But recently I've been getting some smaller ones right here for the actual post, so I don't have to dig that much of a hole. There's two right there, too. And here's a bunch of dirt that I've been picking up from a hole that I've been digging. And I'm planning to make some big berms that go right there, about to that tree there. And definitely one right here, because that's a big speed killer. And when I ride my bike down here, which we'll see in a bit, I don't jump off this because I don't have enough speed and I just drop off. I was about to jump it, but that's that wouldn't handle my weight there. Sorry about the chainsaw, but I can't do anything about it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, Seth. I've done some things in this video that I haven't done before. And as you can see, I've probably not done a whole lot here. I mean, I've done the drops over there a lot. I've done that almost every day, whenever I have time. But stairs, I haven't done that at all. That's a first for me. Same thing with the uh, rocks. I haven't done that ever before either. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll consider me as one of your options for the uh, bike winning. So yeah, see ya, dude.